Welcome back. And today with the Juggernaut Training System, we're going to go over some of my lifts that I'm going to do here for deadlift. We're going to go over deadlift form, and I'm going to walk you through some rep ranges and some ideas of what you can do in order to achieve your max deadlift. This is the same exact program that I use in order to achieve my 605 pound deadlift at only 180 pounds. Let's get to it. All right, first and foremost, we're going to show you how to deadlift and go over proper deadlift form. So what you want to do is you're going to line up on the bar with your legs being on, on the inside of the gripping note. We're going to line up where the bar is just over the instep of the foot. So when we grab, grip the bar, this is called conventional style deadlift. So I'm right-handed, so I like to go right hand over, left hand under. We're going to grip the bar here right where the grip ends and starts into the surface so now what we're going to do is we're going to sit back into it our knees are going to come past our forearms sitting into it pulling the slack out of the bar and slack out of the arms so we got a nice tight brace now we're going to take a nice deep breath feeling the stomach to brace the stomach not the chest we don't take a breath to fill the chest we take the breath to fill the stomach brace on the stomach to activate our internal belt system so here, here, I set into the deadlift, and then I pull up. Now when I pull up, I'm pulling up the shins, up the knees, and dragging up the thighs. It's called a leg drag, like so. And then every time we go down, we're setting into the deadlift, like so. A lot of people like to bend over, and that's not how you do it. We don't do it like this. You're gonna set down. Just the knees are going to come past the forearms. We're sitting into it. We're pushing down on our heels, dragging up the leg. And that is proper deadlift. All right. Just like in any other exercise we do, we want to warm up to our working set. So today I'm going to do 500 pounds for oh, four or five, six reps, something like that. Whatever, you know, whatever I feel is safe but still giving me some strain because I want to get a nice heavy lift in because this is the last day that I get to get a nice heavy lift in before I start cutting weight next week. So what I'm going to do for the warm ups is, as I've done right now, I already did 135, then I'll do 225, I'll do 315, I'll do 225 for five, 315 for five, 365 for three, 405 for three, 455 for one, and then I'm going to pull 500 and try to get around the four to six rep range. And then we're gonna move over to some lat pull down. All right, now I'm gonna go into my second warm up set, which will be with two, uh, 225. So now keep in mind, now I have a fight coming up on top, October 8th. So I'm not worried about maxing my load out on deadlift. I'm keeping the deadlift numbers at 500 pounds because I, that is heavy enough to where I can get enough work and keeping to, keeping it relatively heavy instead of going on max low because I don't want to take a chance on potential injury, pulling a muscle or something like that. Now, if you were going to do a pile of competition, you were just trying to just be your strongest. You're, you would base the percentage off of the progressive overload, the progressive overload, which is the juggernaut training system, will be based on whatever your uh, projected max is for that powerlifting competition. My normal deadlift is between 600 and 605 pounds. I kept it low at 500 pounds because that's relatively heavy for MMA. So I just want to stay strong and try to maintain some of the strength that I that I have. So we're going to come into our second warm up set. <coughs> So, now I'm going into my third warm up set, which is 315 pounds. Now, I like to do gutless deadlifts up to 315 in order to strengthen my core. Now, this is not recommended if you're a beginner or a novice, but as you get more advanced, you can do some beltless deadlifts and it helps strengthen the core the way you're not depending on the belt.
All right, now we're going into my fourth warm-up set, which will be 365 pounds. I'm going to pull this for three reps. All right, now we're going into my fifth warm-up set, which will be 405 pounds, and we'll do it for three times. All right, now we're going to go into my sixth and final warm-up set, which will be 455 pounds, and I'm going to lift this for one rep. Now, have you, have you noticed that I've taken my shoes off? Now, in comp, you would have to have long socks and you would have to have some sort of shoes, which I would use usually uh, wrestling shoes or platform shoes. But in the gym, we, I take my shoes off because I want to be as close to the ground and as flat-footed as I possibly can. Because as you see in, on basketball shoes, they have that natural arch where the, the, the toe comes up and it can throw your balance off. So we're gonna do this for one rep. So this is my last and final, this is my working set. This is 500 pounds. Let's see how many times I can pull this. We're gonna shoot for four or five minutes. deadlifts are done we're just going to work on getting a pump so what i'm going to do is three sets of ten on this lat pull down here i would normally do three sets of ten with regular lat pull down and then do side grip lat pull downs but all the work's done all i'm really worried about for the rest of this week and next week until i fight on the eighth is cutting weight and conditioning so let's go through the reps here Like so. All right, now for my final exercise, we're gonna do a bent row. So normally there will be different various exercises for the back, but we're gonna do the, the bare minimum, the basics today, because I just wanted to get a nice little pump going and I don't wanna take no chance on uh, having an injury before the fight. So we're gonna do the bent row, and we're gonna do on the ring, we're gonna do the finger on the ring, and coming through to the belly button. Well, that's it for me today. If you found the video helpful, please like the video, please subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that bell notification. That way you can be notified whenever I upload all my tips and tricks on how to get strong, lose weight, and stay fit through the whole process. If you're looking for a workout guide or a step-by-step -step nutrition plan in order to help you either lose weight, gain weight, or get to that next level, whatever you're looking for, please contact me at one of my other social media outlets that will be in the description below. Until next time, I'm Almighty Bell. This is the Juggernaut Training System. Stay fit.